Hello guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can adjust track height in Adobe Premiere 2020. I'm going to show you four different ways you can do this. You can pick whatever you like, but I'll show you which one I like the most. All right, so let's go get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the Adobe Premiere. I got it open already here, so we can just see here. And as you all know, the Adobe Premiere has two sections in this window. One is for the video files. You can see the video track one, two, three, and then another one's for the audio files. So you can press control and scroll up or down, and you can only control one section at a time. You can't scroll both of them at the same time. I don't know why they did it in Adobe Premiere, but that's how they do it. So the method number one, the way I like to adjust my track height in Adobe Premiere, this is probably the most convenient and easiest way to do it. So let's zoom it up here. You just press shift and scroll up or down. And this way is gonna adjust the track height either bigger or smaller. If you wanna go a little bit slower, you can press control as well. So press control plus shift. And as you can see, just gonna go much slower and you can get much more precise size of the track. So you can align it, for example, for a certain amount of space that you have on your screen. Same thing applies to the audio tracks as well. If you want to control just a single track and you don't want to make them all bigger or smaller, you can just press Alt and then choose the track, the one that you want to enlarge or make it smaller and scroll up or down. And as you can see, there is only this track here that's uh, selected right now. It's getting bigger or smaller. The rest of the tracks stay the same. Also, if you want to adjust single tracks lower, you can press Alt plus Control and then it's gonna just adjust this track, but at much slower pace, so you can actually make it much preciser size. The method number two, this is probably another most simple way to do it, is actually grab the lines here and grab it up or down, and this way adjust every single track the way you like it. And this is probably the most easier and most, even if you don't know how to do this, you probably can just guess that you can drag these lines, so this is, one of the most simple ways, but uh, it's not as precise because sometimes it's kind of hard to get it all exact. Whereas the first method, you can actually go really precise with it. And this applies as well for the audio as well as video tracks. The third way you can adjust the track height is gonna be really helpful when you wanna just return back to the normal size of the track, like the standard size from Adobe Premiere. So all you gotta do is just double click on the track and if it's small, it's gonna make it bigger. And then if it's big, it's gonna make it standard size. If you don't know what size the track were originally and you wanna make sure they all fit on the screen, you can just click on these tracks and it's gonna make them smaller so that you have more room. You can see way more tracks on the screen. All right, so, you can see right now we got them all organized pretty neat here. So we have all the tracks even size here. And now I'm going to show you the fourth method, how to do this. This method, I don't really like it because it's kind of feel awkward when you do this. You have to go to the right side of the screen here. And as you can see, there is these sliders here. And you just got to hold one of the slider and just pull it down. And it feels awkward because when you pull it down, it actually makes it bigger. When you pull it up, it makes it smaller. So and it's also not easy to adjust the height with it. And you can't press on control to make it slower. So sometimes it just feels like, you know, you either go too big or too small. Like, look at that. It's just, so as you can see, it doesn't really work that good. So yeah, I'll just press double click on this one and then just make these tracks back to normal. So yeah, this is how you do this. This is my three favorite methods. I use the first one all the time. I almost never use the fourth one. Also, I'm gonna show you a little trick here, how you can save this setting that you already created. So to do that, you need to go to this to this wrench icon here, press on it, left click, and then go to save preset. And let's call this, uh, for example, my, my favorite preset. And then you just click here and choose, let's say I wanna create it as a preset number two, then click okay. So there you go, now it's all saved as a preset. And then if you press Ctrl Alt K, it takes you to the shortcut menu. And here you just gotta type height and you have the track height number two. And where it says a shortcut, you can assign any shortcut you like. 
so that you can just press that shortcut and it's going to instantly return it to that preset that you like so let's go ahead and just assign the shortcut i want to make sure it's not going to be affecting others so you can see which shortcuts are not used like if you press shift you can see that this y is not used so what i can do is i can press shift y then you just gotta click ok and there we go we got it set so let's go ahead and check if it's working so let's change the height of these tracks just randomly and then we're gonna press shift y and there you go guys so it's already saved as a preset so if you want to just return to that same setting shift y and it's gonna do it instantly so this is the beauty of having shortcuts and i hope you guys like this video if you do please don't forget to subscribe to the channel also like this video for more interesting content and click the notification bell as well so you don't miss new videos and we're gonna have more interesting videos coming soon so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye bye